Hello everyone, uh, another good day, another, day, another nice weather and I'm taking my D50 for another day mountain biking. Uh, I wanted to share some tips about the power management on the D50 motor. This is a very unique and uh, uh, unique species of a mountain bike with hub motor. Uh, normally mountain bikes are using a mid-drive motor, D50 is using a, a powerful class 3750 watt um, uh, geared hub motor which is torquey enough uh, at some points torquier than uh, mid-drive motors common mid-drive motors in the market uh, but you need to know that uh, we have uh, designed this vehicle this this bike uh, with a motor that is pushed beyond like uh, on the edge of its performance so it may get overheated if you do if you do not know how to deal with this motor uh, the motor is quite torquey, the power can be up to um, uh, 1200 watts of power when you ride it, uh, if it is uh, unlocked. And uh, something that I want to talk about now is the, uh, if you click uh, the mode button, you can change the modes and you can get to the two temperature values. The first one is controller temperature, which as you see here, it's 29 Celsius, and the motor temperature, which is showing 65 Celsius. So I've I've climbed a, uh, a long and steep uh, hill up in uh, Mount uh, From area and in North Shore Vancouver and my temperature my motor temperature is now reached to 65 degrees. Um, the maximum temperature that this motor will get before the controller starts to reduce the power and cutoff is 140 Celsius. So there will be no harm, the motor will not be harmed at all because the controller will take care of it. Uh, but it's good to know that what is affecting the temperature. Uh, interestingly enough, the power, there's no limitation to power when uh, uh, you ride this bike. Look, if, if you increase the power to 1200 watt, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't heat up the motor as long as you're riding on a high speed. Uh, what is affecting the, the what is what is affecting or influencing the motor temperature is the phase current and phase current uh, going up when you have you're applying a high torque to the motor and a very low RPM, basically low speed steep inclines. Uh, as long as you you manage the bike to ride on higher speeds, say 18 kilometer or 25 kilometer or above, when you're climbing the the hills, which normally this bike is capable of to. At some point, these hills I can ride up 32 km per hour or more. Uh, the motor does not increase uh, temperature much, but but if you want to take uh, take your time and go slowly, make sure that you company like uh, accompany pedaling with the motor and do not keep the but keep the motor on and low under low RPM and high current for long. If you want to do so, for example, if you want to t tow a trailer or tow another bike with you, this is all, this, these are all possible. But keep an eye on your temperature, just not to be surprised. You're not harming the motor, nothing bad will go with your motor, nothing will burn or fry, no controller, n neither the, the motor. But don't be surprised if you reach to 140 and the system starts lowering the power for protection. Uh, that's it for today. The reason that we are using gear top motor on this system is that it is lighter, more efficient, maintenance free, without stressing your powertrain and chain. You can have a mountain bike and you know this is not common for mountain bikes to have uh, hop motors. They normally use mid-ride motors to center the weight, uh, to, to attach the weight to the like uh, um, uh, sprung mass of the, the full suspension bike but this mountain bike is a hardtail so it's not much different between a um, rear hub motor and front hub motor but just we just make it more cost efficient and easy to maintain the motor and uh, a longer life cycle for your uh, uh, chain transmission uh, that's it for today I hope you enjoy your rides with your whatever Envo or non-Envo e-bikes that you own.